is our family home. We originally had the kitchen over on the other side for many years, but it just was very small and cramped, and we had this big, huge living room. So one day it just dawned on me with the big fireplace here, this would make a great kitchen. Accessed outside, so we put the doors in and move the kitchen here and we were able to have just this nice little sitting area in front of the fireplace as well as a good sized kitchen. How it all began was that I really wanted to have an island. I like to, you know, entertain. It's nice to have something that people can sort of stand around while you're cooking. And on the other side, we just really didn't have the room for it. So that's really what drove the kitchen was the ability to have an island. We didn't put a sink or an oven or anything in the island. The island is uh, strictly for prep and laying things out on and everything else sort of surrounds it. In starting to plan everything for the kitchen, started you know playing around with where the fridge would be, where the pantry would be. I knew I wanted a wall oven with a microwave. So you end up with these blocks of tall columns and you kind of play around with them and then create something in between. So that's how it happened that the fridge is over there, the wall oven's on this side and the oven's in between. And it creates kind of a nice balanced focal wall. I love open shelves. I love having everything there so you can just see what you need and you can grab it. So I really wanted to incorporate open shelves. Because this wall was very thick, we were able to do this little niche above the sink, which I love. You can put all, you know, all the spices and things on it and uh, it works out really well. My style, I guess, is modern rustic mixed with industrial. I just love that style and I like some of the industrial materials and I used one for the appliance garage um, which hides all the stuff that's usually on your countertop in there which is great because that's really in most kitchens a sort of dead corner so it was a perfect solution for there. Well the feeling was that you know because it's not just a kitchen it's a kitchen with this sitting area and we would entertain here we didn't want it to scream kitchen so we sort of did it in an off-white um, I love the bistro feel of the subway tile with the grate. It kind of takes it a bit away from the kitchen as well as introducing the bits of walnut. So it's not just a white kitchen, so it kind of blends with a living area. The floors throughout in our house were in really bad shape, so we replaced the floors with a wide plank white oak. It doesn't have a high gloss to it, it's like an oiled finish, which I really love. It has more of a country feel without being too country. And then the ceilings, I just don't like drywall plain ceilings and just putting a little texture in the ceiling with the slats, just something I like to do. We wanted to have a TV for sure, we knew it had to have a TV. I didn't want to put it above the fireplace because it's too high. I didn't like the idea that you would walk into this room and the first thing you would see is a TV, but by encasing it in walnut, it doesn't pop out at you as soon as you come in, so it's a little bit more subtle. And it has an arm on it that it can move and it actually works quite well. Now that this is our kitchen and sitting area, what used to be our kitchen is going to become our dining room. So that's sort of phase six. So actually at this point we eat on the island, but we still have this ottoman, which we can, if it's just a casual meal, we can sit here and eat in the more comfortable seating. Having gone through this whole thing of reorganizing the space, at one point we'd sort of started thinking maybe we need to add on, we need more space, we need space to put our kitchen. And you know, the beauty is by flipping spaces, reorganizing what used to be spaces, we can create these spaces within the footprint and not have to add an addition on. So actually it turned out to be great.